Hey, have you ever heard of Manaka? Don't worry, you're not alone, most people haven't. If you care about heart health, or you know someone who does, stick around. I'm breaking down what Manoka is, why it matters, and what you need to know. Manoka stands for myocardial infarction with non-obstructive coronary arteries. In plain English, it means someone has a heart attack, but the coronary arteries don't show major blockages. Sounds weird, right? We usually think heart attacks come from blocked arteries. Here's what happens. ER, arrival with chest pain, shortness of breath, and blood tests showing heart stress. Doctors do an angiogram to look for clogged arteries. With Minoka, the arteries often look clear. So what's going on? Minoka isn't one disease. It's a group of problems causing heart injury for different reasons. A tiny clot can briefly block an artery then dissolve. An artery spasm can suddenly squeeze shut and stop blood flow. Takotsubo, or broken heart syndrome, stress weakens the heart muscle, mimicking a heart attack. Who gets Minoka? About 5 to 10% of heart attack patients. It's more common in women and in younger people. Is it dangerous if there's no blockage? Yes. Minoka can cause real heart damage and patients still need follow-up and treatment. Treatment can differ from classic heart attacks. Doctors may dig deeper with special heart scans or MRI. Treatment may include medications to keep the blood thin, manage blood pressure, or calm the heart, depending on cause. Takeaway. If a heart attack happens but arteries look clear, don't shrug it off. Minica is real and needs attention. Get a full workup and ask your doctor about causes. That's Minica in a nutshell. A mysterious but important heart condition. Stay curious, take care of your heart, and don't ignore the signs. Share this with someone who might need it. Thanks for watching.